guys it's the macintosh guide and i'm back again with a brand new video and this week we're going to be looking at my lovely 6.1 mac pro one more time however we're going to have a bit of a twist we're going to be installing mac os ventura which is actually not supported on the 6.1 mac pro but we're going to be using a, a little developer software that's called oclp which is the open core legacy patcher that will turn this machine into being able to use the latest operating system so guys sit back relax and get ready for this one the first thing you need to go is to the open core legacy patcher website which i will link in the description and all you need to do is click on getting started and it will take you to a page that talks about what is open core and how do we get started and these are fantastic instructions that we will be following today to ensure that we get ventura installed onto the os so the first thing we need to do is go and download the build once you click on the link it will take you to a page that says download and build mac os installers and what the first thing you'll need is obviously the open core legacy patcher app so you click on the open core legacy patcher release apps which will take you to the GitHub location. And it will talk about all the new latest features that are in 0.6.6. .6. All we need to do is just click on the open core patcher GUI zip file, and you just let it download. So once it's downloaded, guys, extract the file and you'll see the open core legacy patcher icon show up. We have downloaded open core legacy patcher. We just need to click on the zip file that's in our download folder and you'll see it will open up it will it will extract a application that's called open core patcher all you need to do is just drag and drop that into applications and if we now open up applications we should see open core legacy patcher right here all you need to do is double click on the app and it will just take a bit of while because it's opening up for the first time and yes we would like to open it and there you go, it's brought us to this, to this screen that says Open Core Legacy Patcher version 0.6.6 .6, Model Mac Pro 6.1. So it's already identified what model we actually have. And it also has four options. It's got Build and Install Open Core, Create Mac OS Installer, Post Install Root Patch, or Support. In this current scenario, what we will need to do is we will need to create a Mac OS installer. So what you will need is a USB stick that is larger than 16 gigabytes. Um, and that's really it. You can see I've plugged in my USB stick. Just ignore that right now it says install Mac OS Ventura. It's because I obviously did this step before. So what you need to do guys is you need to click on create Mac OS installer and you need to download mac os installer so what this will do it will then it will then give us three options mac os 11.7.7 .7, which is the latest version for big sur 12.6.6 .6, which is the latest version of monterey and then you also see there's a latest version of 13.4 which is mac os ventura you click on mac os ventura's version and it will start downloading so let that download all we now need to do is go back into create mac os installer create click on use existing mac os installer you'll see the version here you click on it you choose the drive it'll ask you to enter uh, your password just to verify that you you're allowing the disk to be allowed to be formatted and then it will create a mac os installer i've already done it so i don't need to redo it but that's the step in terms of making a Mac OS installer through the Open Core Legacy Patcher. So now we'll move on to the next step. A bootable Mac OS Ventura drive. All we now need to do is open up Open Core Legacy Patcher one more time. You go on Build and Install Open Core, and it will tell you finish building your Open Core configuration. Would you like to install Open Core now? You select install to disk and then it will ask you which disk you want to be installing it on so in our instance we're going to be installing it on our apple ssd the one terabyte drive click on that and it will say volumes on disk and it will say efi you click on it will be the only option that will be there you, you enter your password 
click OK. And then it says, OpenCore has finished installing the disk. You will need to reboot and hold the option key and select OpenCore Boot EFI options. Would you like to reboot? You click on Reboot and we will go to the next process. So what we now need to do is restart the Mac Pro and you need to hold the Options key to ensure that the EFI bootloader shows up. So just holding the Options key, waiting for the option to show up and there you go. So then what you need to do is press Enter on the EFI booter and then switch over to the install Mac OS Ventura and press enter. And this will should bring us up to Mac OS Ventura's installation phase. So I shall be back once we see that screen. So now you guys can see that we have loaded into uh, the install Mac OS Ventura screen. And guys, it's very simple now. All we need to do is just click on install Mac OS Ventura and click continue. And this should take, again, a couple of seconds for it to, to get to the next stage. Mac OS Ventura, click continue. As you can tell, it, it's just slightly a bit stuttery, but we'll, we'll get through it in a second. So let's just wait until the beach ball continues. Click agree, and then click agree again. And then you select the drive you want to install onto. So in my predicament, I created a Ventura partition, so that's what I want it to be installed. I want a fresh install of Mac OS Ventura. You click continue. And then, guys, it's just a waiting game. So I'll let this go through and then we shall be back when it comes to the installation. Just thought I'd show you guys how I'm doing this. So yeah, this is how we're installing Mac OS Ventura. So as you guys can see, we have now booted into Mac OS Ventura. We're now going to go through the installation process. So I shall see you guys when we have booted fully into the operating systems desktop. So as you guys can see, we have now booted into the desktop for Mac OS Ventura. Everything seems to be working fine. Let me just go to about this Mac and show you guys. You can see it's the Mac Pro late 2013 model. It shows up Mac OS Ventura 13.4 installed. Everything in terms of my specification shows up. You can also see if I go into Safari, it's still quite snappy. It works the same speed as how Big Sur and Monterey have been. If I go to google.co.uk, the internet seems to be working fine as well. So uh, I've not really experienced any issues with Mac OS Ventura as of yet. Uh, while I've been testing it via 0 0.6.6. .6. Uh, but there's also just a few, uh, just another thing I'd want to mention is that Open Core Patcher is automatically installed as well onto the machine. If we open it up, and if we go into post install root patch, you can already see that it says that all available patches for your system have already been applied. So that's one of the great benefits of the newest version of 0 0.6.6. .6. When a new version is out, it'll automatically notify you and you can go from installing it and continuing. Now, guys, just a little disclaimer. 
when using macOS Ventura via Open Core Legacy Patcher for unsupported hardware, always keep an eye out on the Open Core Legacy Patcher GitHub library, mainly because of the fact that a lot of uh, new release notes are, are, are put up there. It, a lot of people when testing will also leave comments to say that, you know, if they've had any luck or not, if something's broken or not, it's all available uh, through the forums and GitHub. So please obviously keep a, keep an eye out if you're going to be doing this uh, on your hardware. Through some features that obviously are working. Um, obviously the biggest one is Stage Manager. Seems to be working straight off the bat. Um, as you can see on the side, it's showing up. I can swap between applications without any issues. So Stage Manager seems to be working no problem. Um, there was a lot of DRM related stuff that was actually fixed. So that seems to be functioning uh, pretty good. But I have heard a few people saying that Apple TV related content doesn't seem to be working as well but i don't have an apple tv subscription to really be able to give a thorough answer but everything seems to be working fine i've not had a, any strange type of hiccups at all in the machine so far um uh yeah and let's just quickly have a look at the oclp release notes as well for the 6.1 there's a 0 0.6.6 .6 release notes you can see right here that it is talking about it's reserved the low the resolve the low power mode issue that was on the 6.1 um, and also the DRM issue is it seems to be working for mostly everything however some people I have seen report that Apple TV app does seem to still have some DRM related issues so yeah just keep that in mind but guys everything else is smoothly you can see 0.6.7 is already on the work so we should be seeing that hitting us in the next couple of weeks um, the developers have done an absolute sensational job if you guys are looking into running macOS Ventura on a 6.1, guys, go ahead. It works flawlessly. I've had no issues. Um, I'm going to do a bit more testing. I'm going to do some development tests soon on the machine to, to just ensure that I could primarily use this machine as well alongside my 7.1. But, guys, this was a video about the 6.1, getting Ventura, the latest version installed. If you like the video, like and subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.